Before we dive into development, let's get our workspace ready. We will be setting up the development environment in Kali Linux. I will also do a guide for developers on Windows 10 so that everyone is on the same page. No need to stress if you are on a different operating system, just follow the setup steps. In future videos, I will explore fancier setups with Docker and virtual machine, but for now, let's stick to the essential for simplicity. Catch you in the next one where we'll be setting up the development environment. In this video, I will guide you through the process of setting up local server to run your Laravel projects on Kali Linux. This is an essential step as it ensures you have the necessary components such as PHP and a database server to seamlessly develop and test your applications. While Kali Linux comes with PHP and MySQL pre-installed, running Laravel directly on this default setup can be a bit complex, particularly when it comes to managing databases and tables. To simplify the process, we will be using ZAMP as our chosen local server ZAMP is a robust solution that streamlines the configuration of Apache, MySQL, PHP, and other components, making it a standout choice for local development environments. Now, let's dive into the setup process. I will open my browser and search for ZAMP. Embarrassing! <laughs> I will open the first site. This will take me to the ZAMP official website. Uh, let's scroll down to Kali Linux section. I will select the one with the latest version of PHP. So just click download. And let's wait for the download to start once the download is complete uh, let's go to the download folder my file is under the downloads folder so to, to execute this file i will have to make it executable so let's go ahead and copy the file name and open the terminal here to make the file executable, we have to use this command, sudo press x and paste the file name, then press enter, then enter the password. Uh, now that file is executable, so now to execute the file, I have to say dot slash and then paste the file name then press enter this will launch the installation wizard for ZAMP there we go and it's pretty straightforward you just follow the wizard uh, nothing complex The installation is complete. I'll just click finish and this will take us to the uh, control panel. Uh, to start all the services, you just click start all and wait for the start to the services to start. There we go, all the services are running and that means everything is all right. One last thing, <coughs> let's go to our browser and let's visit the localhost IP address. And this should take you to this dashboard, you know. So that concludes the installation of ZAMP. 
that's all in this video see you in the next one where we'll be installing composer Welcome to another tutorial on setting up the Laravel development environment. In this video, I will guide you through the installation process of Composer, the essential dependency and package manager for Laravel. Having Composer installed is crucial for Laravel project development. Let's proceed with the installation. To install Composer on Kali Linux, you can follow these steps. Let's go to our terminal and let's start by updating our package list using this command sudo apt update press enter enter the password this will update our package list there we go uh, next list but let's uh, install the composer dependencies uh, these are dependencies that are, are necessary for Composer installation. So, sudo apt install. One of them is car. The other one is php cli. The other one is php and string. The other one is unzip presenter and this will install those packages um, next let's download and install composer using this command sudo cal This will download and install Composer in our system. There we go. That is successful. Um, the next step is to move uh, the Composer executable. Um, by moving Composer to a directory in the path, you make it globally accessible from many location in your terminal. This global accessibility simplifies the use of Composer for managing de dependencies in Laravel projects, allowing you to execute Composer commands without specifying the full path to the executable file. It streamlines the development process and enhances the overall efficiency of working with Composer across different directories and projects on your system. Let's do that by, by typing sudo. So now let's verify the Composer installation by typing the following command, Composer version. As you can see, version 2.6.5 is installed in our system. That concludes the installation of Composer in our machine. Now you have successfully installed Composer on Kali Linux. You can use Composer to manage dependencies for your Laravel projects. That's all. Catch you in the next one where we'll be installing and setting up Laravel project.
Welcome to another informative tutorial on setting up Laravel development environment. In this session, I will walk you through the installation and configuration of Laravel project. If you've been following our series, you've likely explored previous videos that guide you through the setting up essential components such as the local server and composer. These components are prerequisites for seamlessly installing and configuring your Laravel project. Now let's dive into the process of installing and setting up one of the most powerful and incredible web frameworks out there. To create our Laravel project, navigate to the folder that you want to create that project, you know here. And the first step is to, is to create the Laravel project, just type this command, compiler create project project Laravel, Laravel. and then the name of the project in our case we will use calc uh, in future we might change the name of this project so in the comments below just give me a suggestion of what we'll call this project you know we can have a fancy name than this but for now let's stick with calc so I'll just press enter and this should create uh, our project. There we go, um, the project is created. So now let's configure our environment variables so i will open my project using uh, visual studio code um, for laravel project i will really recommend using php Storm, but in this case i will use uh, uh, visual studio code but you know php Storm, uh, it's really you know amazing it's really good i've really used it for a couple of years and it's so great you know so this is our environment file this is where we are going to, you know, uh, have the configurations of our projects. So uh, I will explain this file later, but at the moment, this is the app name. So we will change this to what we gave our app, that is calc. And then we're going to leave the other ones like that. And then there's this section of a very crucial se section. This is uh, co this is the uh, the database uh, configurations so first of all let's go and create uh, the the Laravel the database you know because we, we are supposed to create our database so I, will, I, will, I want to start our server remember we installed our local server so we just go cd sdt run yeah, so this is a bit time consuming. I uh, will create a shortcut so that I can just launch the panel easily. But for now, let's just say sudo dot manager. Mm, let's go to ls. Yeah, so this is the file that I'm looking for. So I will say sudo dot then my password so this should launch the control panel there we go um, and let's start all the services so this will start the Apache web server and our MySQL database server 2000 years later there we go all our services are running so let's go to our browser and you know I'm going to start the PHP my admin PHP my admin is the you know tool that we you we will be using to manage our database and tables. So to go to our PHP my admin, I just go there. This will take me to the dashboard of ZAMP. Then I will click PHP my admin. Yeah, and this will open the PHP my admin uh, database. Let's go ahead and create the database. Uh, in this case, we call it calc, just as the name of our app. And there we go, our database is ready. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and a 
update these credentials. I'm going to minimize that so that it gives us a good space. So, and in this section, DB database, this is where we will write our database name, in that case, calc, and then the DB username is root and password is empty. You know, th those are the default uh, credentials that ZAMP comes with, you know, and that's it. And I can assure you our credentials are set. And just to update our credentials, I'm going to generate a new uh, application key. So PHP artisan. Key generate. This will generate a new key. This key is going to be stored here. You know, so this will update our configuration. There we go. You know, you cannot you notice the key has changed. And so now to ensure that our application is installed uh, properly, first of all we need to run the migrations. Uh, these are our migrations. This is our, our tables, the default tables that uh, Laravel comes with. You see, so to migrate these tables, I'm going to say PHP artisan migrate fresh. So uh, this command will create these tables to our database. You know, let me show you something. Um, when we go back and click our database, you notice our database is empty. There is no even a single table. But once we run this command, I hope it runs successfully. There we go. Uh, the command is successful. And if we go back, let's refresh our database. And there we go, we have the tables. So these are the default tables that Laravel framework uh, comes with, you know. And so now to run our application, we will use, we will use this command php addison save. So this command will uh, run our application. As you can see, the application is served under this link. So the IP address and then the port number is 8000. So just, let's just go and let's copy this link. Let's go to our browser and let's try to you know, run this application. Okay, that's not correct. I will, I will just type it. And then the port number 8000. As you can see, this is our Laravel uh, application our Laravel project is successfully installed. Uh, that's it in this video. Great job on setting up your Laravel project. Next up, we'll dive into the installation of Laravel Jetstream. Welcome to another guide on Laravel development environment setup. In today's session, I will walk you through the installation and setup of Laravel Jetstream, a remarkable authentication package that has become my go-to choice for numerous projects, thanks to its impressive and robust features. This package streamlines the authentication process and enhances the overall development experience. Without further ado, let's dive into the installation process and get Laravel Jetstream up and running in our project. Uh, let's find uh, Jetstream homepage. Jetstream official documentation. And let's go to installation. So there's a couple of commands. So we have already created our Laravel project. So we only have to run this command and it will install Laravel Jetstream. Let's go and, and open our project. Just under 
this one. So I'm going to open this with Visual Studio Code. G, um, still we could just use the terminal, you know, but you know, I really find it cool using Visual Studio Code or the editor. So opening the terminal section. Let's paste that command and press enter and this will install Laravel Jetstream. There we go, uh, the installation is successful. So if we go down, so the next part I want to cover it in another video uh, because this, uh, yeah, it's really completely very different, you know. Uh, Laravel JetStream is a package that has been integrated uh, using Vue, Vue and also uh, view through Inertia JS and React JS uh, through Livewire. You know, so let's do this in the next video. Let's leave this at that. Next, we we'll install and set up Node.js and npm so that we can set up Vue.js in our project. Welcome to another video on setting up Laravel and Vue.js development environment. In this tutorial, I will guide you through installing Node.js and NPM. Node.js is crucial for Vue.js development, providing the runtime environment for executing JavaScript server-side. NPM is a key part of the Node.js ecosystem, simplifying the management of packages and libraries. It's your go-to choice for easily installing, updating, and managing project dependencies in Vue.js project. Let's get started with the installation process to ensure your development environment is ready for seamless Laravel and Vue.js development. Let's head over to the terminal and let's first of all update our package list by this command. Alright, everything is set. Now to install Node.js and NPM, you can use a single command, sudo install Node.js, Node.js, NPM, press enter, yeah, and this will install Node.js and NPM.
right, the installation is complete. Uh, now let's um, verify the installation of node by saying sudo. Uh, no need for sudo. Uh, node version. Yeah, so as you can see, version 18.13.0 and npm version 9.2.0 that confirms the installation of npm and node.js to ensure everything is working properly uh, we're going to do a simple test uh, so let me go to this directory and then i'm going to uh, create a new folder i'm going to call this folder node and then i'm going to open this in visual studio code um i just want to ensure that we want to ensure everything is working properly i'm going to create a file let's create a file called node um, node test .js. and inside here i'm going to type console the log node js is working let's execute this file using node and that will confirm that node js is set up properly there we go that's our message and Next, let's do a test for npm. So I'm going to create a, a file called test dot um, package package uh, dot js, and let's make these entries. Um, this JSON json file and we're going to call this name and then we're going to call this test package and then version let's give it a version of 1.0 then description it's supposed to be in quotes description it's going to be test test npm installation let's say our Just enter your name. In this case, I will enter my brand name. So it is cares, and that should be working fine. Um, package.json. So we are supposed to save this as package.json. You know that's why uh, we are getting these highlights because. Uh, this is not the format this is a format of json not .js you know so let's rename this file to json and right now we should not be getting um, any problem mm -hmm. there is another highlight here mm, what might be the problem so i forgot to close this uh, this one so everything is okay and so now to run this test let's say npm install
there we go uh, this confirms that the installation is okay and yeah that's it we're good to go now that we have successfully installed node.js and npm we are ready to install and set up Vue.js in our project Welcome to another video on setting up Laravel and Vue.js development environment. In this guide, we'll be setting up Vue.js in our Laravel project. Vue.js is a fantastic choice for front-end development due to its simplicity, flexibility, and ease of integration. It is a progressive framework that allows developers to adopt it incrementally, making it suitable for both small-scale projects and large, complex applications. Vue.js excels in dynamic and responsive user interfaces, enhancing overall user experience. In the context of Laravel, Vue.js forms a robust partnership. Laravel, a PHP web application framework, provides a solid foundation for server-side logic and API development. On the other hand, Vue.js seamlessly handles the client responsibilities, ensuring smooth interactions and dynamic content rendering. This synergy between Laravel and Vue.js allows developers to build modern, feature-rich web applications with efficiency and maintainability. Now let's dive into the process of setting up Vue.js to complement our Laravel backend. Let's pick it up where we left it. Um, we have two options uh, to either use Livewire. For React JS developers, they will choose Livewire, but for Vue.js, which is our case, we are going to use Inertia. So um, let's go ahead and run this command. This will install um, Vue.js. Um, this will install uh, Inertia in our project. Inertia is a single page, uh, is an SPA framework. It's a really, really great framework uh, that really integrates very well with Vue.js. So, so it really uh, brings an advantage for Vue.js and Laravel developers because it, it really, um, you know, it, it really connects Vue.js and and Laravel. Okay, cool. Uh, that is successful. Um, as you can see, inertia scaffolding installed successfully. Uh, so let's go back here. There's other options. Uh, this brings in the Teams features, but uh, for this project, we're not going to need it. And also, there's inertia stack. Um, installed with uh, SSR support. We're also going to ignore that. Ooh, yeah, we can also uh, use uh, this command to make our project uh, dark themed. So in this case, we'll just change this, but let's, we'll do that later. Our project will have uh, three themes, uh, dark, light, and a default thing so we will work on that later so to finalize the installation uh, you just run npm install this command will install um, the dependencies so let's go ahead and run this command npm install There we go, um, that was really quick. And another one, let's build our project. Cool. Uh, that's good. 
So, and the final step is to run to migrate our project. We are supposed to run the migration uh, because the Laravel JS stream comes with other features, with other amazing features, and we we need to run the migration. So, we're just going to copy this PHP artisan migrate. And this hit enter there we go these are the extra uh, tables and yeah we can now go let's start our app again so PHP artisan so I hope uh, our server is still on if not I'm going to start it again so that is one two seven one two seven and then let me just select it from this source awesome uh, as you can see there are some changes in our project uh, previously we did not have this uh, links the login link and register link so the login link uh, this is the interface for logging in you can see how just how cool this uh, look at this amazing uh, Jetstream logo and also register it's the interface for creating an account in our project you know and and this is the cool thing about Jetstream it is really wonderful so let me create an account and let me just show you how this works mm -hmm. I notice there is a problem with the thing Yes, this is a bug you see the text is supposed to be black in this case but it is not and then wow, this is really challenging let's try fixing this by installing the dark thing I really suspect that this is a bug and yeah it needs to be fixed is a bug I can report that later so let's try to fix this problem by oh there's something is supposed okay we really build a project let's take this and then let's change this to inertia So we we'll have to rerun the migration again once again and once this is complete. So it's going to build again. Let's give it time. Fantastic. So um, npm run dev. So this will compile uh, every time we make changes to our project. This will uh, be compiling our project automatically. Yeah. So and I hope that pro that problem is fixed. So let's first of all uh, refresh our our database. And drag this down. So PHP Artisan migrate fresh, and this will refresh our database. It will. Cool. So let's 
go ahead and I'm going to close these tabs. Let me let me refresh again. it's a bug or I suspect it's because I did not compile you know I think that might be the problem we'll know that later so to say a very very insecure password and let's keep click register and I can save that one yeah and this is the dashboard this is how the dashboard looks like uh, really awesome really awesome really fantastic we also have the profile interface. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah, uh, let's leave this at this. And yeah, that's it. Um, this concludes the Laravel development environment setup in Kali Linux. I'm going to be doing a setup for Windows users because I don't want to leave anyone behind. See you.